Big news coming out of Mike McDonald's Monday press conference is the news that Lieutenant Nwosu will begin practicing this week. Let's get to the video. Uh, what we got? When you look at what your defense did yesterday, what part of that should we're, give you? We're confident in our process, and you have to go through all the steps to have confidence uh, stepping out there on Sunday. So um, you can't skip steps. You can't go around stuff. you got to go through it, and the guys know that. But and this, we've been doing it the whole time, but trying to get better at our process. Look, we're still, we're still, we're always going to have the mentality of, you know, how do you find an edge here? How do you find an edge there process-wise? Uh, but I think it's coming into focus on, on what it takes to, you know, to, to play at a high level. It starts with that. I mean, if you're behind the sticks and you're, you're chasing your tail, then um, it's tough sledding. You're, you're fighting uphill battles. So um, if you want to really play on your terms and you got to, Got to try to make teams one-dimensional. From hey, like how we're coming up with our plan, how we're implementing it, how we're practicing it, uh, how it's coming to life on the field. Uh, there's some good stuff out there. It's just not as much as we want it, or as consistent as we want it. But uh, there's some good stuff, and our guys are working really hard at it. Our coaches are devising some um, really good plans, in my opinion, that we're still going to still try to improve on. But um, we're on the right track. How They're part of the team. And uh, everybody wants everybody wants more yards on the on the ground. Everybody wants more points. Everybody wants less takeaways. I mean, you can go in any any building in the NFL, and they're gonna they're gonna tell you the same thing. Um, but it's about how connected you are, how how bought you bought in you are on the process. Are you doing the right things? Uh, our runners are great runners. They're really and they're really great players. And we got all the belief in the world in these guys. Um, but they also have things that they need to improve on in the run game as well. So it's not just one guy. It's just like when we talk about in defense, it's all 11 all the time. So it's how, we're, it's how we design it, how we call it, how we execute it how, is what makes it come to life. Not aware of like player only meetings that we got going on. If the guys are talking to another, that's great. It's like, keep it talking. Maybe it's because when the lights are out, you know, it's so the only <laughs> operation they have. <laughs> I, did, I think it speaks to like just what we're trying to build and, and the guys are leading the way. Uh, try to create an environment where people feel they're um, empowered to, especially the vets, like we want to know how they see things, um, where they stand, all those things, get them on board. So we're headed in the same direction. And, uh, and that comes with like building trust and you know, you, you know you know the deal. So, but our guys are doing a great job with, with you know communicating with me and the rest of our coaches. And our coaches are doing a great job. Just we're not going around stuff. Just hit them in between the eyes and, and uh, tell them the truth. Tell them with love and they move forward. Just buying time, offensive line, you know, walking their tails off for the play and the extended play, and then the receivers uh, working. You know, you got to work to find space. Ball finds energy. Like you got to go. And DK. Um, that wasn't his primary route, found an open spot in the zone and, and Gina made a great throw. As a staff, we have a we have a, a clear a clear process that's a little more honed in earlier in the week and we're just we're operating well together. Um, going through all the cadences and hitting all those benchmarks you get hit throughout the week. And uh, me as kind of the guy driving the ship, making sure that we're not going in a thousand different directions it's ultimately like we got we can go you can go anywhere you want so you got to make sure you're going here and that's that's my that's my responsibility to make sure that it's it's focused and it's clear so uh, we can get some clean rules to our guys that they can practice the whole week and talk about having confidence going into Sunday so um, I've improved in that area as well we'll have them out there tomorrow in some capacity return to play in terms of how long uh, can't tell you, you know, the window will open and then we'll go for that. Someone that we're going to take a long look at as well. So, um, but Christian played winning football for us. Um, but want him to grow, keep growing, man. You know, like you got to go prove it every week on the, on the practice field and in preparation. And, um, but right now, I mean, just happy that like, you know, look, he's, there's a lot of credit for having a guy that was rotating in and AB kind of took over, still prepared. Knew all knew all the things that we you know no mentals on the day but um, some technique stuff we got to get cleaned up but overall enough you know good enough to win the game so happy with this uh, ability to step in and help us win the football. Right, so there you go.
Uh, you heard from Mike McDonald. And then let me just go back to the and Nwosu. Mike said, you know what? He'll start practice this week, whether, you know, they'll elevate him to the game and that kind of thing. It's all too early to tell right now. So right now, what you're going to have is that uh, Nwosu will start practicing on Wednesday. And Mike is looking for the team and the coaches to stay focused, continue to stack their practices, which then in turn goes to stacking their wins. You know, their two-game win streak. Up next are the New York Jets in MetLife Stadium. From the VMAC in Renton, I'm Oz Vita Mario for the CascadiaSports.net report. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing.